welcome to speaking lesson 13 this is shushmita shama from bani b bondhura apnara shobai kemon achen amar naam bani ekhon koronar shomoy tai ami barir bhitore thaki amar sathe amar ma thaken ebong amar baba thaken আমার অনেক বন্ধু আছে তারাও সবাই বাড়ির ভিতরে থাকে আমরা সবাই ভিতরে থাকি আপনারাও ভিতরে থাকেন প্লিজ আপনারা সবাই নিরাপদে থাকেন হ্যালো বিফোর ইউ স্টার্ট ওয়াচিং টুডেজ লেসন প্লিজ ওয়াচ স্পিকিং লেসন থ্রি ফর ওয়ান মোর টাইম then the explanation that i am going to give now will be much more easier okay so yep let's start so the first one is amit haki which means i stay and the verb that we are working on right now it's the already known verb we know this verb we have seen this verb before right Thaka means to leave or to stay and it has the A ending. So we will consider these types of verbs as our group 1 verbs. Group 1 verbs has the A ending. Okay. So how this verb takes different endings with different pronouns. With Ami which means I. With Ami it takes the I ending. Ami thaki. See, Ami also has E at the end. E sound. Ami. Thaki also has E sound. Ami thaki. So, yeah, if that helps to remember, then you can use this trick. Ami thaki. Both has E, E. Okay. Next, Apni. Apni has the N ending. Apni thaken. Apni means you. Uh, but this is the honorific you. I have told you before it's like the German Z and Spanish usted. Like they have these uh, two pronouns. One is for your friends and another is for uh, someone who is older than you. So this honorific one we use this you form, this apni. Um, to speak to someone who is older than I am or uh, to whom I want to show some respect. So for them we use this you which is apni. And with apni the verb always takes the n ending. Now there is the word amar baba. So this baba this is noun baba means father. So you see this is blank here. So we will have to write it here what would it be amar baba so let me write it amar baba thaken same huh like that one so that's a good news so with i we know what to use with apni that is you we know what to use. We already covered that in speaking lesson 3. Now this third person uh, noun, third person singular noun or third person plural noun also. It, it will be the same but we will talk about it later. So this third person singular noun or pronoun also the same ending like the apni one. Thaken, thaken. Right? So uh, in our previous lesson which was Speaking lesson 3, we talked about another verb that is jana. Jana, it also has the A ending. Jana, right? So, I'm pretty sure that you know how to do it now. Janen, right? Janen, then. With Ami, it will be Jani. 
right ami jani i know and apni janen or amar baba janen that means you know or my dad knows so it is the same en ending i should write janen here right see en janen thaken is also en so what is the similarity between this verb and that verb it both uh, both of them belong to the same group one verbs because it has the a ending thaka and jana right so yeah that was the first thing i wanted to communicate with you today to introduce this third person verb ending which is same thaken the en ending okay okay now let's look at the english lines before this it was just i stay you stay or he stays but now i have added home with it and that means i stay home uh, it actually has the at with it right the at here so i stay at home you stay at home how to do that in bangla let's try mm can you remember what we have seen in the dialogue barite let me write that with english letter so this ra it's a uh, ra that's why i am using the capital r bari te and this is dental ta okay so this te is actually the at or in and let's look at the word here bari which means house home it has the e ending bari right that's why we can't use the a with it let's work on it a little bit mm let's write it again bari before this in the previous lesson what have we learned we just add this a with it then it become the then it works as in this a right but this is a vowel this is also a vowel and if you attach two vowels together body a does it sound very good no that's why this t comes and it becomes body te and body te means in the house body means house so this is how we add this post position in or at with the word ami barite thaki means i stay at home so it will be same apni barite thaken you stay at, at home and amar baba barite thaken so we will just add barite here and it will be uh, my dad so it will be my dad stays at home so i just have to add the barite here amar baba barite thaken okay so what is uh, the focus for today to memorize the verb endings with ami with apni and with the third person singular number like amar baba or how would you write it with amar ma hmm, what would be the ending with it so you should listen to the dialogue for one more time or as many times as you want and then work on the verb endings try to keep it in your mind and also work on this at and in thing okay tai and it has dental ta tai means so body house sathe with onek many shobai all nirapod safe bondhu friend and the last word is apnara apnara means you and that is the plural you not the singular one so this means i have two or 
three people in front of me and I am addressing them. Apnara, that's also the honorific form and it means you and it's the plural form. Okay, now here is the task for you. I have written the Bangla sentences and you will have to make it English. I am going to read this for you. Akhon Koronar Shomoy. So it is written both in Bangla letters and English letters. Both are Bangla but I have just written this with different letters so that you can understand it easily. First one I have read already and the second one is Amar Shathe Amar Ma Thaken. Apnara Shabai Barir Bhitore Thaken. Fourth is Nirapa De Thaken. This D is the dental one. Nirapa De Thaken. So, yeah, translate these lines into English. I'm looking forward to seeing your answers. See you in the next lesson. Stay well, stay home. Bye.